talk about Samsung again with Stephen, in fact. I can start off with a look at the markets, aren't you, Stephen? Yeah, well, Samsung shares, of course, I mean, we're keeping a close eye on today after that news of that planned indictment of the company's chief. Shares in the company up by 1%, though it's, it's worth 20% of the Cosby and Seoul Samsung. So the Cosby trading up by a third of 1% as fortunes tend to follow the companies very closely. Uh, across the rest of the Asian markets, we've got gains on the Nikkei in Japan and on the Shanghai Composite, just some falls on the Hang Seng in Hong Kong. On the European markets, we've got main markets starting the day in positive territory, small gains across London, Paris and Frankfurt. The uh, car hire firm Europe Car, their shares up 4% in Paris. After their annual results, investors in France also look looking at growth figures confirming that France's economy grew by 1.1% in 2016. Now, a new Commerce Secretary has been uh, confirmed in the US. 79-year-old Wilbur Ross was approved for the job by senators on Monday. The billionaire's business interests include an investment firm that he founded in the year 2000. He says the Trump administration will work quickly to draft a replacement to the NAFTA trade deal with Canada and Mexico. Mr. Ross says he's pro-free trade, but believes that all trade agreements should be systematically re-examined every few years to ensure they're in the best interests of the United States. His department also promotes American business interests at home and abroad, as well as overseeing the Census Bureau. Now let's turn uh, to the lofty ambitions of the billionaire Elon Musk. He's promised to send two tourists to space by 2018 via his SpaceX rocket launching firm. Musk says that the company has two travellers who are very serious about the mission and have already paid up money towards the venture. Nadia Massey has the story. Two, one, ignition and lift off. Fly me to the moon. That's the request of two space tourists who plan to jet off to Earth satellite in 2018 a feat not attempted since NASA's Apollo mission 45 years ago. It's the brainchild of Elon Musk, tech billionaire and CEO of SpaceX, a company with its sights ultimately set on Mars. Pad operations on Pad Copy, welcome. We don't know much about these amateur astronauts, except that they've already paid significant deposits towards their mission. If all goes to plan, in two years they'll make one long loop around the moon, skimming the lunar surface and then going beyond, a total of 400,000 miles. A bold plan, but not one without its detractors. Talk is cheap and actually launching a mission like this safely is a tall order. On the first Musk is known for dreaming big, but achieving his space goals ahead. will not come cheap. SpaceX has $10 billion contracts for about 70 missions with NASA and commercial customers. And Musk says he hopes the moon tourism could eventually contribute to between 10 and 20 percent of the company's revenue. A spectacular explosion of its Falcon 9 rocket last year cost the company an estimated $240 million. And commercial space rivals Virgin Galactic have said they also have plans to send paying customers outside the Earth's atmosphere for a hefty $250,000 price tag. Yeah, it's bound to be an amazing experience anyway. Now, finally from Stephen, uh, YouTube has passed a bit of a milestone. YouTube viewers worldwide are now watching more than a billion hours of videos a day on the site. That puts it in reach of eclipsing US television viewership. YouTube's viewing figures has increased tenfold since 2012. Now, despite its size, it's unclear if YouTube is actually making money. Its owner, Alphabet, which is also the parent company of Google, doesn't disclose YouTube's performance, uh, but it is taking a fairly significant chunk of the advertising market and US TV networks and TV networks around the world actually should be looking very closely at their model for making money. It's easy to see how you'd spend that much time watching YouTube videos, though. It is. Are they watching you, Stephen? I, I hope so. Because you are on YouTube all of our with your business are purposes, on. aren't you? Yeah, all of our fans three, four films yeah. are on YouTube. Millions of people tuning in every day to that. <laughs> <laughs> so Stephen, Stephen, with business or friends, I'm not joking. Well, they don't know why they're laughing.